Hey YouTube, I am going to show you how to make a GoPro water ski rope mount uh, that you can use while skiing, kneeboarding, uh, or any other water sports, wakeboard, what have you. First thing you'll need is the handle uh, with the rope attached. And the main item you're going to need is a piece of PVC. Uh, this one here is half inch PVC, schedule 40, that's the thicker one. You are also going to need a half inch T PVC connector. I also used two stainless steel nuts and bolts. Uh, the bolts are one inch long, quarter inch uh, diameter with a 20 thread count. And that is the correct thread count to fit into the GoPro tripod mount. Uh, this one I got off of uh, Amazon for about $10. You can see the bolt fits into the tripod mount perfectly. The PVC pipe is cut to about 50 inches long. And one hole is where the camera will be mounted. That was drilled approximately 10 inches from the end of the pipe. The other hole was drilled about two inches from the opposite end of the pipe. This bolt goes between the rope that the handle is attached to to lock it into place and prevent it from uh, slipping toward the skier. It locks the rope in place. And this is where the tripod mount will be attached. I've also made a uh, tether which I've attached to the bolt as an extra element of protection in case the GoPro mount cracks or gets knocked off somehow. I just screwed the tripod mount onto the bolt which goes through the pipe and the tether is under the head of the bolt on this side. A floaty back door is going to be a must-have anytime you're doing uh, water sports or have your camera near the water because GoPros do not sink but with the floaty back door they will float. Now the floaty back door is not going to float this entire pole. So I have uh, made out of a smaller swim noodle and a larger swim noodle a float for the end of the uh, mount. It will also help protect the camera a little bit as it gets pulled through the water and redirect the forces. Uh, around the top of the camera since it does stick off the PVC pipe a few inches. With the flotation aid in place the GoPro can then be mounted right here and now it does still stick up a little bit but um, the float provides extra buoyancy and helps to redirect the flow of the water as it's getting uh, pulled through the water when the skier falls. Now when the skier falls usually what happens is the GoPro will bend forward, flex forward like this and becomes even lower profile. Uh, so it is pretty effective in uh, redirecting the force and keeping the force off the camera, protecting the mount and uh, making sure you get your camera back. Worst case scenario this breaks off, floats away and you just go pick up your camera and uh, rope is uh, still attached to your mount and you can just pull that in. So 
that's what it looks like when it's all set up. You will also need a half inch T which can be attached to the main pipe with PVC cement. And make sure you get everything lined up properly. This is quarter turned here. Once you have cemented the PVC onto the pipe, make sure it is aligned with your bolts so your camera is facing up when the ski handle is held level. So this bolt has a nut on the bottom side and the clean finished bolt is on the top. That way when the camera looks down the handle it's very low profile. The GoPro mount is mounted the other way with the bolt on the bottom. The one toward the handle is put through this way to have the clean finish on top. But you need the threads to screw into the tripod mount. I guess the trickiest part of this whole setup is you have to take this three uh, this three way this T mount and it has to be cut. I just used a cutoff tool and cut right through it on each side and the PVC slips through there. And so after you thread the rope through you just uh, use a screwdriver to pry this open and uh, slip the, the rope through the crack and the PVC glue will hold it all together. It just gives it a little cleaner finish at the end. Uh, the other purpose is to allow the skier to control the position of the rope. It keeps it steady, keeps the camera from spinning. So it's very important to make sure that this is aligned, I guess, uh, at 90 degrees of the camera because this is going to be how the skier controls the angle of the camera and what gives the camera stability on the rope. Tether I added as extra protection to hold onto the camera. It's mounted to the same screw as mentioned before. Under here is PVC pipe. These are two swim noodles to add for flotation and um, keep the force of the water from uh, pushing the camera down when the skier falls and the rope that's it the PVC length is 50 inches this bolt is 10 inches from the end and down on this end this bolt is 2 inches from the end okay so here is the finished Ski rope mount. Got the handle with the rope, half inch um, split T. You've got a screw two inches from the end. It's a quarter inch 20 thread, it's one inch long, stainless steel. Then you've got the PVC pipe that is 50 inches long and it is um, schedule 40 and half inch as well this is the GoPro tripod mount 